as promised, I'm bringing to you the criteria you have to meet for you to get a German citizenship, okay? This is the regular scenario. This is not for anyone who has a different case, like married to a German or someone who has the blue card or anything. No, 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 no. This is the regular scenario. So, also, the new law that would enable you to get it after five years is not yet law. It's a bill, okay? So, until that becomes law, this is what is valid. Let's start. Number one, you should have been in Germany for the past eight years. Yes, it's still valid as of, as of now. Number two, you should have some kind of unlimited stay. Currently, that should be the Niederlassungserlaubnis, right? But some other states also qualify. So you go to your Landrat's arms and ask them, hey, does this state I have qualify me? Because if I want to go into the other qualif qualified states, this video is going to be too long. So the basic one is the Niederlassungserlaubnis. Number three, you should be able to speak enough German. They say Ausreichend Deutsch Kenntnisse. So, I mean, if you've been staying here for eight years and you've gone for your language courses and all that, and you've been working for a while, obviously you would have enough German to move you to your, uh, in your day-to-day -day life, right? So, that. Number four, you should be self-sufficient, meaning you should not be getting any financial aid from the government. No Arbeitslosen or now they call it Grundsicherung für Arbeitslose. You should not be getting any kind of social health. That is one thing. So you should be working and making your own money. Or you should have, if you are somebody who is still, you know, being catered for by their parents, your parents should be able to cater for you without the help of the government, right? Good. Number five, no criminal record. When it comes to this criminal record issue, there are people who have, the, they do have to pay fines, okay? Fines that were not more than 90 day fines, you are that doesn't matter. It's not a real criminal record. So, for example, that. Good. Number five, um, you should be able to accept and also know the laws of Germany. So when it comes to things that work in Germany, that Germany is a federal state, Germany is a democratic state, Germany is a state that has free rights for all, you should know this and accept it. Number six is that you would have to give up, as in denounce, your previous citizenship. So, for example, that time I had a Ghanaian passport, I had to give it up for the German passport. So, the new law would then enable you to keep both citizenships, right? Depending on your case, you'd have to do the Einbürgerungstest, you'd have to do the Leben in Deutschland, you have to go for the language courses and add those certificates to your passports and your pay slips, for example. This is the summary.